want to make the case for why I think Bernie Sanders should run as an independent if Hillary Clinton wins the Democratic nomination for <coughs> if there was an even handed fair election between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton for the Democratic nomination by all means I think it's the right thing to do if Hillary won for Bernie to say okay I'm in support of her now and the people have spoken the problem is um, we're not on a level playing field or so it appears from the news that I'm reading um, firstly limits to campaign contributions have been surpassed by the Clinton campaign um, the way that they did it was um, people that donated to their state level democratic parties um, gave their money that money was then collected and then funneled to the head office of the democratic party where it was given to the DNC it turns out a lot of that money was given straight to the Hillary Clinton campaign um, some of the money was used on Hillary Clinton ads and not Bernie Sanders ads and after all of this it turns out that less than 1% of the original money given to the state level democratic parties actually stayed with the state level democratic parties and because of this not only were um, not only were limitations on spending surpassed, which you could argue people should be able to spend as much as they want if you that way inclined. It's not just that; it's the fact that people will have given to the Democratic parties in their state and could have been Bernie Sanders supporters and their money was then used to fund the opposing candidate all the way through the can <clears throat> her campaign it seems that tricks have been used some would say they're clever I would say they're dirty and when people do things that aren't morally right we shouldn't forget about it. When Bill Clinton turned up at a polling station in a heavy um, in a uh, location that was heavily in support of Bernie Sanders now that's actually clearly in violation of the rules um, no candidate or affiliate of the candidate can go to the polling stations and advertise and things like that um, but Bill Clinton Hillary Clinton's wife turned up uh, shutting down the whole polling station and apparently um, the queues la were lasting for things like eight hours so people just simply went home um, the constant accusations and implications thrown out by the Hillary Clinton campaign that anyone that supports Bernie Sanders is somehow sexist it undermines what um, the problem that some places um, have of sexism um, it undermines real sexism and the validity of real sexism by claiming that someone simply because they don't support the woman candidate is sexist it's ri ridiculous um, but it's just thrown out it's a dirty tactic and they know that it's not sexism Hillary Clinton has never been firm on her policies you just have to track down her record um, from her votes on the Iraq war to her opinions on gay marriage which yeah 
she's in favour of gay marriage now. It took her until 2013, but Bernie's been on the right side of history his whole life. He voted against the Iraq War. He predicted to within in to <laughs> to within an inch the outcome of the Iraq War when everyone else was saying that there were weapons of mass destruction and that it was, to quote Hillary Clinton, a business opportunity to see Iraq as a business opportunity. For all these reasons, people are free to vote for Hillary Clinton if they want to. And if there is a vote, and it turns out that more people are in favour of Hillary Clinton than of Bernie Sanders, then that's brilliant, and she should be the nomination, without a doubt. But once you start throwing these dirty tactics into the fray, you start to lose credibility, and you start to make people angry, because Bernie Sanders doesn't use dirty tactics. Bernie Sanders is honest, he speaks about policy, and he's to the point. So for these reasons, I think that Bernie Sanders would be justified to run as an independent um, in the event that Hillary Clinton wins the nomination.